All right, go ahead. It's 10 seconds in. <laughs> What up, world? Hey, y'all. This is Simone. And this is Sarita. And this is Clean Ear. Yes, we are back with your friend, Lee. They were good, sit, bit, ow. You clapped the child like y'all were in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Today, we are talking about how to hear from God. It's one of those things you hear in Christian circles all the time. And you know, even the word says we're supposed to hear from God. Mm -hmm. And sometimes there's a lot of noise out there and we don't know, am I hearing from God? Am I hearing from what? Right, that me? <laughs> really, it's like so Hello. much noise. <laughs> Is it me you're talking to you? But for real though, we just wanted to share a couple of ways that you can get plugged in to make sure that you are hearing from God and understanding what it is that you're hearing. Mm -hmm. I wanted to start off top of saying that you're not always gonna hear an audible word from the Lord. Sweet. Right, there's not, just like like the, the room's probably not gonna shake, you're probably not gonna get angel visitation, burning bush was one time, like, you may not hear a word, there may not be audible words, but there will be like a confirmation in your spirit, or there'll be something that drops in your head that you know that it's just not, that's not you, it's just too good to be. <laughs> yeah, for me, it's primarily been stuff like that, it's been, just hearing words that I know are not mine. And sometimes because because God loves me, sometimes he'll call me daughter Aww. or sometimes he'll call me baby girl. It depends on what, I don't know. I don't know how he feels, I guess. And so when I hear that, I know it's not me, but sometimes there's a thought that I know, like everything I believe and know goes here, but then I hear something here. Mm -hmm. And that's how I know it's not me because I'm like, I. I would never, not on my best day. Right, my inner verse is pretty neurotic. And so I know what that sounds like. And she's she's always on and she's going. And yes. then there's like, there's a, a much deeper presence, stronger, says it one time type of voice that also happens. I'm like, oh, that's God. Because yeah. me, she, and he's just like, hey, that's not who you are. And I'm like, oh, it is needed and necessary in my life to hear from him like that. I love it. But when God talks to me like that, I know for sure that he is definitely wanting me to get this message and that I can hear him in the way that you can hear something in your head. I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> pretty much. One way to be in tune to that voice is to spend quiet time with God. And it's weird because sometimes people say spend quiet time and you're like, so I'm just like sitting? Right. Well, Cultivate the atmosphere. <laughs> Quiet doesn't necessarily mean like, I can hear a pin drop, I hear what's happening two streets down, but quiet can just be, I'm not speaking. Mm -hmm. I've set the atmosphere, I'll do worship music or sometimes instrumentals, being a musical person. Yeah. Being a musical person, I get distracted and I start singing along. So a lot of times I'll do instrumentals because I'm less inclined to start singing surprisingly. And so just whatever it is, just set an atmosphere where you're not speaking, but you're just kind of in it. Mm -hmm. A lot of times that would just come from, like after prayer for some people is yeah. like, you put the request out there. If you're like intro one-on-one, -on -one, I just want to hear from God, maybe like one thing and not like a list of things. <laughs> like, hey God, I just want to talk to you about this situation and then wait for an answer. I feel like a lot of times when we pray, kind of just like, go and then be like, the end, thank you Jesus, amen. in Jesus name, amen, and then get up and go. And you're like, I, wait, oh, this can be a conversation. Prayer is supposed to be a conversation. And so that can be one of those places where since you're already in the spirit and you really are seeking, and then you take your quiet time in the middle of there before you say the in Jesus name, amen, or however you end your prayer, um, let him, give him time to deposit something in your spirit. Yes, and even in being in it, it's okay to still, be in the moment and just say, Lord, I trust you. I just want to hear from you. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes you're like, <laughs> and it's so easy to then at that point get distracted. Yeah. So just keep your mind focused during that time. Mm -hmm. And sometimes for me, I know it's different for different people, but for me, what keeps me focused is for me to just repeat, just 
Lord, I'm waiting to hear from you. Mm -hmm. And just little, say little things of worship along the way, just to keep your mind focused. Because naturally, we're busy people. We're so inundated with information. It's so easy to have a second of quiet. And you're just like, do I watch a poem today? Mm -hmm. Just <laughs> bring right. it back. And one way to help that is to like, I'm not saying you're timing God, but like give yourself five minutes of quiet time. Like if you really want to put a timer so that that way your brain knows we will get back to yes. all the stuff you want to think about. But these, this time is prayer time. This is my quiet time. And then you'll start building it up as you go. Cause I know for a lot of people not doing something for that long would make you go crazy yeah. off jump. If you're like, I want, I want to do an hour of quiet time. Most of y'all ain't ready. You <laughs> have to build to that. Yes, because there are plenty of times I'm quite, I have that kind of long, quiet time. But in the beginning, no, mm -mm. I wish I could say I was that strong in the faith. But in the beginning, I was just like, right, like I've been quiet for three minutes. I don't know what to do now. I think another way, just like Sarita said, and we touched on it before, is pray. Mm -hmm. That's definitely the way. Praying is talking to God. It's having a conversation with God. And so prayer is super important because you are as the word says, making your petition <laughs> No. <laughs> you special, you the King James. Girl, it's my mama. And so uh, <laughs> continuing to pray all the time, regularly, just whenever you get a second, it doesn't always have to be lengthy, but when you're in constant conversation with God, especially throughout your day, I think that that cultivates a conversation relationship mm -hmm. and you can, just be accustomed to being in conversation with him and that helps so much. Yes. Another great way is, you know, for me, it's not really like, maybe I just hear from God in it, but I get confirmation. It's through like sermons and podcasts. Is that yes. sometimes he'll drop something and you'll be like, I don't know if that was you or me or what. And then if you're one of those people who listen to podcasts or you watch sermons online or even your sermon on Sunday and you feel like you this is something that is directly to you in your situation, Mm -hmm. Bam. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. It's a great reference. Like if I'm going through something, I can look for things specifically that speak to the thing that I'm going through. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, okay, Lord, just, just open me up to hear from you. And I'll listen to it. And sometimes I'll hear things where I'm like, I know that was for me. Like that was, that was too specific right. to not belong to me. And yeah, that's a huge, huge help. Love it, love it, love it. Another thing that you can do is study the word. You knew it was coming. You knew it. Your Bible. <laughs> get in yes, Get in it. Because it's always refreshing to hear stories of situations where God has already done a similar thing. If I'm moving, I'm like, who else had to move? If I don't know what's coming, well, who else didn't know what was coming? Right. You know, if I'm delayed, well, who else was delayed? Whatever the case may be, I try my best to gain an understanding of and study the stories of people who have been through similar things so I can see what God has done. And then that really refreshes me. And it also helps me in the way that I pray because then I remember, uh uh, Lord, <laughs> what I know is that this is what you're capable of doing. The enemy would love to make me think that you're gonna do this, mm -hmm. but I know that you can do this and you've done it. Yeah. So it helps a lot for me to hear from God in those experiences because those stories really do come to life when you're walking in a real life situation that mirrors what's in the word. Love that, love it, love yes. it so much. So guys, we wanna know from you, what are some ways that you hear from God? Even if we talked about it, go ahead and put it in the comment section below. We wanna know. You hear from God, you in your quiet time, when you're in your word, you get confirmation in a sermon or a podcast. If you talk to a friend and been like, that was it. Yes. That was the word. And yeah. a lot of times it will happen because they'll talk to you and they'll just be like, you know what? God's been doing this, this, and this. You're like, oh, that's the word for me, friend. Yes. You need to deposit it in your spirit. Absolutely. So um, that's it. Yeah. Just up for this one. Yep. So guys, until next time, have a good time. Bye.